<laughs> well, the idea is we got to knock all of these up at the same time, I think, or something like that. Right. I'm actually subbed to a subreddit that teaches you how to pick locks, but I've just never bothered dealing with it. <laughs> we just slide it in and then lift up all at once. Yeah, right. No, I, I think it has to be like one at a time, maybe. Okay. Like try one. It's really laggy. I don't know exactly what I'm meant to do here. Uh I have no idea either. You, you, there's got to be some type of button. Oh, 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 I can bend it. Ah. Oh. oh. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Holy crap. You make a key? All right, so the first one. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> you can bend it like that. Okay. So, well, we'll push it in, and then what do we do here? We go up without. <coughs> no. Oh, no, no. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. Put it out. Before. We're going to lift this up. And what should happen is that as it slides in, it's going to knock that up and connect it. Nah, I like think you that, have to do it yeah. all at one time. It's yeah, good. no, but that, that, but this is the point that what we need is... So, we need it to be when it's all the way in, all of these are knocked up. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um. So, what we're going to do is I now know that this first one... We pull this all the way out. Come on, it's kind of clunky. So sorry about this, guys. But hey, I didn't. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is it's gonna, gonna have to be a little bit to the right. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit to the right and up a bit, and then we'll just confirm that. Right. So that one's up, and then try and remember where that is. I think it has to be a little bit more, a little bit more. Up. What? A little bit higher? Yeah. You think? I, I oh think yeah. It, you yeah. think this gap's got to be along that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I guess just make them all high. Why not? It seems yeah, like it doesn't really, really even matter. That's fine with me. Oh, but it's really annoying. Because oh, but you can't make it too high. Oh, yeah, the gap. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh what's going on? Like you can't take it off. Try I bending it down. <coughs> Try bending it down and taking it that's off. A good, that's a good point. Is that really how this is working? No, that'd be stupid. No, it's not. It's not. Wow. That would be physics beyond. So basically, this is just broken and I can't pull it out. That <laughs> sucks. Alright, well, look, this is, the f this is the furthest one to the right we need, so we'll just do that, okay? Yeah. And that's fine. Let's just have a look. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. One. That's, that's it, that's it. It's done. Okay, good. Right, so then the second one is about here. I think we're bending the laws of physics right now. Totally. No, that, that one has to be a lot higher than that. <coughs> I just want to have a look at the position is correct. Yeah. Which it is. We'll pull it back up and then to about there. Yeah. Ooh, slide that thing in. All right. Oh, we have the two. one on the far right looks a little bit too high actually at the moment, so I'm just gonna lower down just a tad. Just a smidge. There we go. All right. Now the third one. They're all equally spaced, right? So the third one. <coughs> excuse me. Oh my god, I'm coming to it. The third one doesn't actually need to be that high. So like that. Right. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, it needs to be a little bit closer. Yeah. Oh man. But the height looks okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know that. About there. <coughs> Seriously, there's no way a metal can bend that much. Oh, it changed the other one. It stretched. I don't know. It just it didn't get pushed in fully. So I think that's good. Just a little bit lower, and you're good. I mean, how boring is this? No, no. I think we might we might cut it out, or I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. This this bit here. I think it's a pretty cool mini game. Yeah. Very time consuming. Oh wow. We're getting close. A little bit lower, and you're good to go. Little bit lower, and you're good. To go. This one doesn't need to be very high, so I'm just gonna wing it. <coughs> wing it. Always wing it. Okay, I was gonna say. I don't know. Oh, hold up, you didn't push it all the way in either. Got jammed, I think. Okay, it needs to need to be in the German. middle. We were jamming. <laughs> we jamming with you. We were still don't know. I was actually listening to that after our last recording because it got in my head. Yeah. I still don't know the lyrics. Even though it's a day later. <clears throat> there. Let's do it. Oh, this could be it. Oh, baby. Damn it. Uh, th oh. The one to the the second to last one needs to be up a little bit more, I guess. How does this not work? How do you check it? You can't check it. <coughs> no, I don't know what 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 I do from here. No, uh, the second to last one needs to be up this a little bit more. No, second to this last one. Yeah. Second to okay. All right. Yeah, put it like up a little bit more. I think that'd be good. Oh, this oh, one looks yeah. a little bit too low. Oh no, because you didn't push it all the way in. Push it all the way in. No. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's not in all the way. There. Oh, we, there we go. There, there we, we go. go. It worked. There we oh, go. Oh, it's not in all the way. What? Who said that? There we uh, go. <laughs> she said that. She did. Oh. <laughs> I mean, well, well, that she said. John and then, and then you sadly, you sadly have to say it is in all the way. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> Uh, One day those will get old. One day. <coughs> I'm pretty sure they're already old. It was a pretty old joke, but just came because back it's the old. Door. It's funny though. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. Oh my god! What do we examine first? Oh, that thing in the bathroom. You want to go to the bathroom? Yeah. Search the bathroom. Yeah. It's, see if he flushes or wipes. 
Hmm. Smells like chemicals. Flush is all the white. The plants probably developed the photos in here. <laughs> Flush is all wipes. What the fuck kind of existence do you live in? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> wept. That, that is just unbelievable. Sometimes words just come out, okay? <laughs> Sometimes still words. Fragments of the syringe that the inspector broke in the sink. Why is he pushing himself like this? Even if he <laughs> catches pushing. the raven, is it worth <laughs> ruining his career and his health? Oh, now I'm just thinking about pooping. That was nicely picked up. <laughs> Alright, well, we can't do anything in there. We can examine this alarm. We've been able to examine all of them, but just we never know. But hey. What if he pulled it? Another alarm. It was tripped at some point, but there's no way to determine when. I'm sure at some point we'll be able to determine oh, when it was Oh, so maybe he tripped the alarm? That'd be weird. Ah, uh, it's like every alarm sort of represents <clears throat> a, per, uh, you know, a potential suspect or whatever. Yeah. Someone who's in on it. And it just makes you think, oh, how could Legrand be implicated in some way? You want to look at the photos? Oh, you can't look at the bathroom? No, I can't do anything else anymore. That's weird. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure what was going on with the syringe. Alright, hey, start from the look. back. And work our way forward. Legrand must have taken them yesterday at the crime scene. Okay. Wow, we can look at loads of different stuff here. Examine the layout of the ship. <laughs> A rough diagram of the ship. Legrand marked the Baroness's cabin. Seems like he didn't turn up anything else of note. Uh, look at the picture over here. Yes, yep. that's how we found her yesterday. I think. I wasn't really myself at the time. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. The bed, the blood spot. The spot on the sheet is much bigger than the one on the mattress. There's blood on the blanket as well. A lot of blood, I'd say. So what we're seeing here is like a really generic image, but it's supposed to be have a lot more detail on it, I guess. Yeah. The blanket and the sheet are gone. I guess they're in the medical center. Wow, you have to break keep in there looking. <laughs> yeah, over and over well, again. there's this one here too. Hmm. No. Nothing suspicious. Okay. Uh, what else can we investigate? This photo? Shot in her sleep. She didn't feel a thing. She went to sleep and never mm. woke up. But someone screamed in there. What are you talking about? We heard a scream. We heard a scream? Yeah, there was a scream. Everyone's talking yeah. about how they heard a scream. Look at the photo. This photo Weird. provides an yeah. overview of the crime scene. And also, it's the same thing with, like, the silencer and hearing a shot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There were definitely two... There's at least three shots fired, at least. Mm. One that was muffled by a pillowcase, one that wasn't, and one downstairs with the crate. Okay, finish the investigation. We can't seem to touch anything else there. Uh, we can examine the desk. The blood samples. Samples. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Examine the bottle. Hmm. There's nothing written on the bottle. I suppose it's some sort of stimulant, legal or not. Legrand has been awake for at least 30 hours straight, maybe more. That's not too bad. One I, goal game. I remember oh. playing Guild Wars 2 for like, what, like, three days? <sighs> so th this is comparable, right? Yeah, 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 of course. Three days of Guild Wars 2, grinding. What were you doing in the three day period? Um, leveling up a couple 80s. Okay, so leveling in Guild Wars 2 compared to a crime scene investigation on a boat. Yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> leveling. Uh, murder, it's all the same thing when you really look at it. Oh, you can pick Oof. up the thing. We can pick up the bullet if we want. Do you want to take that? Yeah, take that. Oh, Aha. compare it. That's the bullet the doctor removed from the Baroness's corpse. Okay, we should compare those later, I guess. Oh, the, ah. Hey, now. Oh, well, this one's blunted at the end. I think they are the same kind of thing, but they're blunted, maybe. We got pipe. This is the pipe from the cargo hold. Oh, that you were hit with. Legrand seems to have inspected it for fingerprints. I can still make out the powder. Hmm. All right. Hmm. No. 
nothing to see on the end of the pipe that the attacker held. Either he wore gloves or he cleaned the pipe. I mean, right. would it really matter? And unless, oh, well, I guess you can take fingerprints for every, everyone on the ship and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that would be a big problem. Um, ex- examine the bottle again. I shudder to think what kind of side effects this stuff might have. Uh-oh. A policeman on a murder investigation should have his wits about him. The risk that he could miss evidence or endanger himself and others is too high. What is it, like liquid crack? He's going to get delusional? (laughs) Dude's kind of crazy, if you really think about it. And we've got a police file as well. Best for us? Let's do it. Open that thing. Sound now. The Grand's file on the Raven. Centimeters thick, but totally useless. We're not dealing with the Raven. Why can't he see that? Our man is ruthless, a bomber, and quite probably a murderer. The examine the, the, we can examine the file. This file belongs in a museum. It's he history. Just at it. The inspector should concentrate on the present. I want to look in it. I want to learn more about the Raven. Yeah. The game's named the Raven, so I feel like <coughs> it's not going to be totally, totally separate. Definitely not. There's also writing and stuff here. We can't examine anything else. Let me press space to confirm. Oh, there's one thing here. What was that? It's not. It's not reacting. Whatever that is meant to be. So, yeah, that game is broken in that way. So we're done. Want to yeah. go back? Yeah, let's go back and let's... we can. There's still a couple more things we can look at. There's a forensics box over here to have a. a wow, a I could have totally missed a that. A masterpiece. Yeah, I almost. Forensic did too. teams use kits like these, They're placing increasing importance oh. on the preservation of Fair evidence, much. but not in Switzerland yet. It's a small lab used to conduct simple analysis on site. Hell yeah, you're right. We need a blood stain now. We desperately need the blood. All right. What have we got here? There we go. There we go. He's going to take something for the blood. Oh, like a swatch or something. Yeah. A sachet? What's this? Oh, how practical. A hermetically sealed cotton swab for collecting samples. I'll take it. This is cool as well, the way it's moving the, the camera. They do a lot of weird stuff in this game where they just sort of experiment. Like, nothing's simple. Uh, we can open the... Well, let's look over here. That's just finishing the investigation. We can examine this brush. Half of the tools in this box will be interesting for an archaeologist as well. Actually, forensics and archaeology are really quite similar to each other. The goal is to find out what happened, whether a few hours ago or a few centuries ago. Centuries? To examine dinosaur bones, a little bit more than that, mate. Uh, examine shovels and scrapers. For forensics in the woods or the open country, I suppose. No use on a ship. I guess <laughs> I'm an idiot because archaeologists don't just deal with dinosaur Centuries. bones. I'm thinking of paleontologists. Whatever, <laughs> the rubber glove. Fingerprints are overrated. Smart thieves wear gloves, or they make sure that there are too many fingerprints at the crime scene to check them all. Yeah, they're overrated. Well, I guess maybe they are overrated because petty thieves will get caught out by stuff like that, but big time criminals. <laughs> I'm so hot. <laughs> you thought you were talking about dinosaurs. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. Archaeologists, yeah! Which you, you then go on dig sites and stuff, looking for dinosaur bones and things. What? That's what I thought when I saw that, bro. Like dusting off old bones and things. Oh, man. I, I think it might be. Um, ish. Uh, we can examine these chemicals. Good lord. Like, uh, like it? Ross? Ross from Friends? Yeah, he's a paleontologist, yeah. not necessarily an ar- archaeologist. Right. Good lord. Good, good lord, good lord. Good lord. Good lord. Okay, we got a drawer as well, lastly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> examine the booklet. Aha! Wow, he's just taking this everything. This is some kind of inventory list. For each chemical, it lists the chemical composition and a short comment on how to use it. And here's a list of the most important procedures. Fingerprints, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. gunshot residue, mm-hmm. blood. I don't have to analyze the pillow and feathers to determine whether there's gunshot residue. I can smell it. And I don't have any other clues at the moment. Okay, 
Um, so for the blood, then. <coughs> we can read it. The booklet will be used. Yeah, so we'll read that later. Looks like we're going to have a proper mini game coming up soon, then. Space bar one final time. <laughs> It'll be funny if it would just be some quick things like, oh, you, you did the blood. Now you know what it is, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can examine this glass bowl, actually. A small glass bowl for mixing chemicals. This will be relevant later. Certainly the, will be. The, this uh, section has been interesting because we had like uh, a few mini games, right? Yeah, the picking yeah. The lock, the Pachenko. No, not the Pachenko. Whatever you call Pachenko. that thing. Oh, you could <laughs> examine the desk. <laughs> we can examine the safe. If Legrand saw us fiddling about this, he'd go crazy. A lock, master and son. Tough to crack. If I wanted to steal the eye, I'd concentrate on getting the three keys. Okay, maybe we do! Maybe that's the whole thing, we're gonna... S right under the nose. The Grand must have taken and developed the photos himself. He even made copies and enlargements. He seems to be prepared for everything, with access to more resources than a normal detective. Well, he is famous, right? So, I guess it's only fitting that he was made famous because he caught the raven, got access to all this stuff, and he's using it for that, you know? We can examine the bedding, too. Neatly folded and unused. Legrand okay. hasn't slept since we cast off, nor on the train. Yeah. Well, the, see, the answer here is that he's actually a crazy demon monkey man, oh. and... You know, when people get sleep deprived, they start hallucinating and they start going crazy, start to eat each other and all that. You ever seen that? They start to eat each other be for, from sleep deprivation. They, pe pe yeah, so. people people start going crazy for um, after they don't sleep for a few days. Like, there were some studies about it and they get really crazy. Like, really crazy. Like, they almost change their personality entirely. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll buy I'll take your word. No, no, it. no, you could watch the videos. It'll freak you out. Really? Right. <laughs> well, that's a very Halloween-y thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this this episode is not coming out today, is it? Is it? No, 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 no. no. Okay. <laughs> I saw, I saw, um, I saw this thing where this guy was doing like, uh, what drug was he doing? I think he was on acid, and he was a like a wrestler dude, and lived with like his best friend was like his roommate, and he got high. Um, like on this acid completely messed him up and he thought that his roommate became the devil and because he mm. thought he was the devil and he was like such a big strong guy he tore his roommate's heart out and ate it while he was like off his nuts wow yeah and it was like a real thing that happened and he ate this guy's heart and then like when he came became sober again he like turned himself in at the station crazy what right what the heck oh yeah. let's get the blood let's get the blood yeah I don't know what I'm doing I was talking about eating people's hearts yeah, that's totally a conversation. <laughs> fine, fine cuisine aboard the. What's this ship called? Um, um, I think it might be called Princess Peach. Princess Peach, the RSS Peach. Yeah. The Princess Peach. Princess Peach. Oh, my little princess, I would like Ow. to turn your wheels. <laughs> wow. All right. There you go. Blood spot. I don't care what Legrand. Yes. Okay. Fine. Look at all these items. So many opportunities. Cotton swab. Take I a specimen. I always wanted to do that. Yeah. Dig. dig that should and... be enough. Dude, I think I know what this is. What? Ah. Uh, okay. I think. What did we see on Legrand's desk? Do you remember? Hmm. We saw wine. a gunshot thing. We oh. saw wine with a wine glass. Oh. This is a different color. It's not being darkened in the air. I reckon we're going to do an investigation on this and find out this is wine on her bed. And not, and and not it, blood? It, and but, it, yeah, not blood at all. Wouldn't he have tested it already? No, and I think it's going to match the wine that we saw in Legrand's... I don't have to pick this again, do I? No, that, that would be crazy. I'm pretty sure you would have kept it anyway. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not wine. But that'd be pretty crazy, eh? Yeah. Well, all right, let's see what the Forensics minigame's gonna be like. Bow, nah, 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 you ever nah, play CSI? Nah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I actually played a couple of the CSI games, and it's really weird. 
Oh, are they? Why? What's weird about them? Like, like there's a lot of cool mini games, and some Wasn't of it is there pretty cool. Something about blood samples. Right? Okay. Some of it's a little weird. Like, mm -hmm. I would like to see how they do it in here. Like the DNA residue. test was like matching game. Blood. Hmm. Well, it explains how to confirm that something is blood. That's a start. You have to mix luminol and a hydrogen peroxide solution, and then drip or spray the mixture on the blood. The solution turns blue and glows, even if there's just a very small amount of blood. Okay then, luminol and hydrogen peroxide. All right, uh, so we're looking for luminol and hydrogen per peroxide. Yeah, um, Professor Layton, here we go, pour the luminol Aha. into the bowl. Luminol. Ooh. Excellent, and hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide. There it is. And there's the hydrogen peroxide. I'll mix it with the luminol in the bowl. Okay. That I sound effect. blood with this mixture. The clear solution turns blue if it comes into contact with blood. Oh, the, uh, no mini game. Dun dun dun. Ah, oh, it's okay. All right, we'll use the pipette to take some okay. liquid. I am filling the pipette and putting it down very carefully. Okay, and then we'll take the pipette and we will use it with. Swap. So, let's see what we have here. And no blood. Not the slightest reaction. Oh. If I didn't make a mistake, and it wasn't that difficult, then the spot on the Baroness's bed isn't really blood. But if it isn't blood, what is it? And more importantly, why didn't Dr. Gebhardt notice anything? He was supposed to have examined everything. Hmm. I'd say it's time to visit the medical center. Oh. To the medical bay! Da -da. <laughs> Should totally edit one in. <laughs> oh, now I have to do extra yeah, work. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, you have to also cut out this part too, because it wouldn't make sense. Uh, we'll go outside here. How are we going to get into the medical bay then? You don't. You're. How is. Oh. You're the raven. So lock it back. Make sure you lock it back. No, we're going to leave it unlocked. I like how Long Legrand is just harassing the violin guy. Yeah. Also, can, do we don't need these stones, so can I put them back? No, we still want the stones. Why on earth would we want the stones? We got two bullets. The doctor removed this bullet from the Baroness's heart. According to Legrand, it's from a 7.65 millimeter Luger cartridge. Okay, and we got this one. The bullet resembles the one that the doctor removed from the Baroness's corpse. But I can't be certain until I check it under the... Ah, uh, uh, should we do that? Should we do that first? There's a microscope in there? Apparently so. I'm thinking it's that thing on the right-hand side where he was, like, looking at the pictures or whatever, where we talked about developing the photos. Oh, I, I thought it was uh, thought it was would be in the medical bay, but yeah, yeah let's go check. Well, yes. yeah, he specifically said it was in the cabin. So, oh, there it is. It's right there. Examine the, the microscope. So let's look at this. Analyze the bullet. Nice. I mean, I'm man, glad I did that. Yeah. Okay. I totally missed that entirely. Me too. Do we really need a microscope to analyze this? Like on a microscopic level, identify. Like I thought to, uh, oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll I need Maybe this is Marcus. Oh well, we got both bullets. We're way ahead of you, Zelna. All right. Okay, look through the microscope. Oh, this could be a mini game. Oh, sort of. Oh my god, it is a mini game. So we're trying to match them up. Hmm. Oh, so I can't move this one, but I can move this one. So we're just going to line it up like so. Ooh. That seems right. Ish. No, it I guess slightly the off. Yeah, it is slightly off. Move it again, I'm assuming. That one's not right. I'm just looking at the big black line at the moment and just matching yeah. up with that. That's not right. That isn't right. This one looks okay. 
No, because then there's double lines. Yeah. Another one. This oh, one? oh, that, oh. that. No, that was the same one. You did. That was the same one. That has to be it, dude. Oh no, yeah, it, it is it. It's because it's like an ang. Oh no, it's not. Hmm, I don't know. That's weird. Where was going on? That's the proof. There we go. I Ooh, just had to right click. Shot the Baroness. Wow. <clears throat> also fired the shot in the cargo hold. What could that mean? It's because it was like a, a diagonal line, so we were expecting like to create the picture to extend, but that realistically wouldn't be what would happen. Hmm. No, that makes sense. Okay, I got an achievement for that, but I don't know whether... So maybe that was just like a bonus thing we could have done? Hmm. Pillowcase with the burn marks. I wonder if we can examine that. I can't put the pill, but I don't need to. The burn marks are visible to the naked eye. Okay. Um, what about the audio tape reel? Can we examine that in the microscope? <laughs> right. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, taking it out? Yeah, well, yeah, like looking at the film or whatever, but I don't know. It's an audio reel, not a film yeah, reel. So. Right. Okay, I guess that's about it. Unless we can look at the cotton swab under the microscope. Nah, that, that would matter, really. Fake blood. Why would they put fake blood on the Baroness's room? Who I would mean, do they that? Did, Why? They did She's shoot dead. The Baroness's stuff, so yeah, they, she they, is dead. We saw the corpse. Hmm. Unless she was going to die anyway? Because wasn't she was unhealthy, so she was just gonna die anyway, and it was like faked for some reason. Hmm. She had like a heart attack instead. It seems impossible that Doctor Gebhardt could have shot the Baroness. He was with me when the gunshot ran out, but he must have noticed that the Baroness was lying in a pool of fake blood. Maybe he's covering for someone. Let's find oh, out. And and Zelna just had his own idea as well. Like he's the one lying, isn't he? Hmm. Do we pick this in the same way? No, nope, I oh, guess no, they didn't want walking. to put you through that again. But so the many theories. Looking mighty, the doctor's looking mighty suspicious right now as well because he had the poisoned wine as well. He was basically the dude that drugged us. If you remember, because yeah. he gave it to the captain and then. Oh, let's just open that up. Let's see what's under there. Search the cupboard. Apparently that is. It's not even looking at the cadaver. Wow. What's the difference between a cadaver and a corpse? I guess the trash no bin is in here. Right. Paper towels, plastic packaging, cartons, and... Hold on. Tweezers. Why? Well, we wanted tweezers earlier, but why? He's going to use it to pick it up. What's this? More a burst rubber glove. It's knotted, and there's a red liquid all over the inside that looks like blood. I bet good money that it's the same fake blood I found in the Baroness's cabin. We're getting somewhere with this. Oh boy. Examine the gloves? Dr. Gebhardt will have trouble explaining how rubber gloves full of fake blood got into his trash bin. First, the fake blood he missed in the Baroness's cabin, and now this. It doesn't look good for you, Doctor. No, not at all. But what's the motivation? For real. Uh, we can exact. We can listen to the audio tape reel now. No, we oh, can't. Oh, this should be interesting. Oh. oh, is this the other reel? Do you remember there was one missing in our room? Oh, can you take it? I don't know. Let's see. A tape recorder from Cybling. Interesting. The reel in the Baroness's cabin is from the same company. Yes, and it was missing. Hmm. A microphone was plugged into the tape recorder. Maybe Dr. Gebhardt records the results of his examinations and writes them down later. Maybe. Or there's something more. The player is rather basic. Simple, sturdy, practical. Okay. The player... Oh, we can't take it. I, oh. I don't get okay. it. Why can't you put it on there? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's just not an option. The player is... Alright, okay, that's fine. <laughs> the player, the player, the player. <laughs> the uh, we can look at the glove again. I, I just want to keep clicking just to be sure that we've heard everything we can here. Yeah. That's proof enough for me that the doctor is involved in this. I should report oh. to Legrand. Oh. That's our next step. Do you want to report to him? Um, what else can we interact yeah, well, with in this room? Let's, let's, let's interact with everything first. Well, I'm hammering space. We got the sink. Oh, there's plenty of stuff. 
The sink looks like it's been cleaned recently. I can't say whether it was cleaned to comply like with the hygiene regulations or whether there was another reason. All right, so another the wheelchair reason. as well. And the wheelchair. Oh, okay, nice. It's probably for emergencies in case a passenger falls down and can't walk anymore. Possibly yeah. due to rough seas, uh, or maybe the captain's well-stocked bar. What? Who ever thought of putting someone in a wheelchair because they're too drunk? Oh, um, I guess that makes sense. Sort of, yeah. Do you have a story about that? It sounded like you <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> There's a draw we can search too. Oh, oh, the music started. Dun 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 dun. Interesting. <laughs> in a tape and a reel. The reel belongs to a much better player, like the one from the Baroness's cabin. I can't be oh. certain that this is the reel that was missing from the Baroness's cabin, but it seems quite likely. Oh, that's implicating the Gebhardt even more. Take it, dude. The player. No, no, no. What are you doing? Use tape with the... Uh, load the audio tape. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Nothing. Strange. There. Oh. Very Sound. interesting. He, someone so, could have faked it. It. This was all faked. It's fake bloods. Is that her body there? She was gonna die, dude. So she was gonna die anyway. She, for some reason, knew. I don't know why or how, what kind of illness you would be on a timer like that. But she was definitely gonna die anyway. And for some reason, she agreed to fake her death. Why? Why would she fake her death? Was maybe the stowaway that was just a complete coincidence? And this was a distraction for something else. So, like, there was a distraction for a distraction here that was just totally coincidental. Do you know I mean, what I mean? We never seen the Baroness's dead body or anything. We did. We have seen the body. He pulled oh, yeah? that back. The other, oh, earlier. Okay. yeah. The woman is dead. Hmm. Hmm. Time to pay Legrand a visit. Definitely pay. Oh man, Legrand, you're insane, dude. But I've got so much to tell you. And I feel really excited about going. And oh, oh no! <laughs> no. What the fuck? No, no. Oh. so easy. You got him. Oh, come on, dude. You could have totally punched him in the face. <gasps> That's the end of episode one. Oh my gosh, we actually did episode one. Holy shit, that was so shocking. Wow, that's the end. Well, um, I guess we'll never see you guys again. Bye. This, this was my last ever collab with Matt Vigil. <laughs> <laughs> um. Dude, right. I was so ready to go find Legrand. Like, that's totally thrown me through a loop. That's the most unexpected ending I've ever experienced. Dude, he seemed uh, like he didn't want to do it. You saw that look on his face? Do you do you remember back on the train as well? Do you remember back on the train where, like, we first saw him after the explosion? Yeah. Do you remember? And, and me and you, we were talking to him. And I was like, oh, do we tell him what happened? Do we tell him about the bomb? And you were like, no, he seems like a good guy. I was like, oh, this could be bad. <laughs> and then, like, he totally flew under my radar. And he, he, I was totally with you. Like, he seemed like such a good guy the whole time. What? What's the story here? What's the motivation? Why? I don't know, dude. I guess we'll find out in episode two. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Fantastic experience. This is the Raven legacy of a master thief. There are three episodes. They actually released episode three about the same time we started LPing. That was a I complete coincidence. I don't know what? if we'll actually go to episode two, right? Which yeah, I don't know what I don't know what we'll do. I, I, I'm I'm enjoying this game thoroughly. Yeah. I really am. Uh, but it might I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, thank you very much guys. Thank you. Uh, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. And we will catch you next time. See ya. Bye. 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 Oh, uh, okay, you beat me.
I'm I'm so shocked by that. That was fantastic. Credits are just ending. Is there going to be an ending sequence? Ooh, no. Oh, check it out. That was chapter one. Secret solved 12. Hint function used once for minus 100 points. Hotspot highlight used 149 times. Wow. So we got a not, we got a not bad rating. Great soundtrack on this as well.